Jalen, first of all, tell us about your uh, the fumble, ripping it out of the guy's hand, and, and what happened out there. That was pretty cool. Um, it was basically just just part of the play. I read the play right, went to make the tackle, and I just kind of got in a position to where I could grab the ball and I just ripped it out. It was just something that just happened to happen to go my way. The uh, quarterback, we kind of joked, it looked like he came over to, I think he was thinking about tackling and then thought, no, I don't think so. He just tried to get in your way and wait for somebody else. Is that kind of what you thought there? Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> what I figured. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it looked like. You've been in all sorts of positions since you've been here at Murray State. Do you feel real comfortable with this one now? Yeah, I feel I feel comfortable with it now that I've actually got time to get used to one position and stick at it. And Roman, tell us about you've been healthy so far uh, as opposed to last year, battling through some stuff and also coming uh, new to the program. Are you starting to feel really good about what you're doing? Yeah, I'm starting to starting to feel more comfortable with it. Coach Stewart and, and Coach Dawkins really helped me out trying to you know understand everything and get me ready every week to be able to play, play in the games. Roman, we knew that this defense was going to be a lot more difficult to, to manage than you know last week's against Kentucky Wesleyan. Uh, still, you and Nick have been able to find a lot of open space. What's been the difference? Well, it's really been the credit to the coaches and the, and the O line. You know, they were they were able to open some gaps for us, and we were able to you know take the opportunity to hit the hole and just get what we can get. And Coach Stewart calling the right plays, and you know we just all you know working together as a team, and it was able to you know help in our favor. Uh, the two of you guys haven't lost any yardage in the backfield. I think it's been a total of one or two yards lost in mm -hmm. the first two games. Yeah. Is that something you guys think about? Well, every every game, you know, we go in, we go into the game, you know, with the with the phrase fall forward and you know get all the yards. So we we try to you know just fall forward and maximize every every play just to be able to get all the yards. Was there anything that surprised either one of you about? Uh, game there at Northern Illinois, uh, either their team or the environment or anything? Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't more, much to, you know, it was a surprise because we, we played, you know, big schools before and, and you know, we're used to that. But it, it was just a matter of we had to play our own game and be able to do what we do, you know. It was just, we had to come out and just play how we play every week. Yeah, as he said, I just felt like it, nothing was really a surprise to us. We we studied them on film all week, so we kind of knew what it was going into the game and what their tendencies were and how they, and what they liked to do. So it wasn't really a surprise. It's just another Saturday, another game. Was there ever a point in the game, uh, a couple times, you know, score was close. Was there ever any time on the sideline that was like, okay, maybe we could come away with, you know, a, a victory here at any point? Um, we felt going into the game all week, we felt like we could actually play with these guys and, and, and beat them. It was just that as the game went down, some guys got wore down and gave up a, a few plays that we didn't give up early in the game. So I feel like as a, as a collective group, offense, defense, and special teams, we, feel like we, we felt like we can beat them the entire game. About Western Michigan, a team that really had a great season last year from where they usually are, and I think they were expecting and still may have a great year this year, but really were popped by uh, Georgia Southern. Uh, what do you know about them and uh, maybe that game? Um, from my understanding, they, um, they're, they're a pretty good team like everyone that we face. We don't take anyone lightly going into the game. We know that they have a, a tremendous running back that I think he put up like 1,500 yards last year or something like that. They have him back. They have a solid quarterback, and um, they have some good receivers. So as a defensive standpoint, we're just going into it like we go into every week, scout them, watch film, and just put, the, put our best 11 on the field and put our best play calls against their best play calls. This weekend, two coaches, uh, Coach Stewart, the youngest and coach at any football program in the United States, and Coach Fleck, the youngest coach in FBS. What is it like to play underneath such a young coach? And, and what are you guys thinking about coming into Saturday against two young offensive minds going at it? Well, I mean, playing for Coach Stewart, I mean, he's a real laid back guy. And, you know, he, he, he can relate to everybody on the team because he's been in our spots. So, you know, he just, he just tries to be cool, calm, and collective on the sidelines. And, you know, we really respect him a lot, and that's why we play our hearts out for him.
Uh, for me, kind of same thing he said, Coach. With Coach Stewart, he he's played. He's a young coach, so he he's not too too far ahead of us and where we are in our career. So we're just kind of like with two young head coaches, we know it's gonna it's gonna be a good game. Their head coach and our head coach. That with our head coach being offensive coordinator, we know he's gonna take some shots. He's gonna take some chances because with Coach Stewart, that's what that's what he is. That's that's the type of offensive coordinator he is. So it's just it's just fun being in a been in a system where your head coach has your back and you can look at him as not just a head coach but as a friend. Also talk about this week, fly up, spend the night, then you have to wait all day to play a night game. What do you do during the hours? I know there's some things they have planned, but they, you can't have every minute, Bill. What do you do? Um, with me personally, as as being a linebacker, me and the linebackers kind of just get together and we, we might go over some of our tips and reminders with our linebacker coach or we might look at some last minute film. Other than that, we just kind of stay off our feet and just stay together to keep everybody focused on the task at hand, knowing that every away game is a business trip. It's not about going and having fun in the hotel and enjoying the time. It's about staying together and keeping every, everybody focused on the task at hand. Talk about the, the day for you, having to, to wait all day to play that night. Well, usually me and the other running backs, we, we, we take our test and we go over all the formations and, and the different reads that we have on the different runs and, you know, our assignments for blocks and all that. So, you know, we just make sure we go over everything, make sure everybody's on the same page. You know, that way every if, if one person goes down and the backup has to go, we won't miss a beat. So we just, you know, make sure everybody's on the same page and then we just – Relax, you know, try to try to focus on what we have to do just to be able to go out there and execute it.